So the next thing that happened on SummerSlam, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was the Intercontinental Champion Gunther versus Drew McIntyre one-on-one for the Intercontinental Championship. So yeah, uh, Drew McIntyre makes his way down to the ring, and then we see Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Benji introducing the ring general Gunther. So yeah, Gunther comes down. Uh, Kaiser and Vinci stays backstage for this match. And this match, it was a really damn good match. I really liked it. Going back and forth, hard hitting and everything. You you already know that between these two guys. Just beating the hell out of each other multiple times. At one point, Drew McIntyre was trying to hit Claymore and Gunther dug. So he misses the first Claymore. And then McIntyre starts taking control of this match uh, in the middle of it. Hitting a Future Shock DDT onto Gunther. And then he's in the corner setting up for the uh, Claymore the second time. He runs to hit the Claymore, but Gunther hits a drop kick onto McIntyre. He picks up McIntyre and hits the power bomb onto Drew. He pins him. One, two. Drew barely kicking out at two. Gunther can't believe it, so he climbs at the top turnbuckle. He jumps off with the big splash onto Gunther. He pins him. One, two. McIntyre kicks out a two again. So, yeah, Gunther cannot believe that McIntyre is kicking out uh, his moves. So, him and McIntyre is going at it a few more times, standing up and everything, hitting chops to each other. Gunther tries to hit another chop on McIntyre. McIntyre ducks it, runs to the ropes, hits the ropes, and comes back with a massive claymore onto, Mac, onto Gunther. He pins him one, two. Gunther barely kicking out at two. McIntyre couldn't believe it as well. And then uh, the match is going on. Gunther's up there on the top turnbuckle. McIntyre climbs up there. Both of them is going at it. But then Gunther pushes McIntyre off the top turnbuckle. And McIntyre got hung up on the top rope, hitting his nuts on it. Uh, collapses down to the mat. Matt Gunther's already up there on the top turnbuckle. So he jumps off with a massive splash again onto McIntyre. He lifts up McIntyre, hits a massive lariat onto him. And then picks him up once again, hitting a power bomb for the second time in this match onto McIntyre, pinning him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Gunther defeated Drew McIntyre tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match, and he has retained the Intercontinental Championship. That's what happened. Really, really great match between these two guys. Gunther standing tall, and you can see Drew McIntyre frustrated walking away. So yeah, uh, great match between those two guys. I'll give the match a... Uh, mm. I don't know if I should give it five stars necessarily. I'll give it four and a half stars. It was a really great match, maybe five. But it's still a really great match between uh, these two guys. But yeah, very great one between those two guys. I like Gunther's going to probably become the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in WWE history, surpassing the Honky Tonk Man. And hopefully Drew McIntyre would be turning heel. So he can go after the World Heavyweight Championship and face whoever. So, yeah, um, really, really great match. Um, I'll probably give that match five stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a really great match. Uh, definitely check it out if you have yet. But up next, it will be the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor, one-on-one -on -one for the World Heavyweight Championship up next. Still to come later on tonight in the main event, uh, Roman Reigns will be defending his title up against uh jay uso in a tribal combat match later on tonight in the main event and still to come we'll see oscar versus charlotte flair versus bianca belair in a triple threat match for the wwe women's championship so yeah that match is still to come as well but yeah up, up next is the world title match so yeah i'll see you guys later until then